Hi, I'm Kevin from uh, Malkar Brewery from Kondig, uh, very local here. Uh, I'm just visiting the fair today because I think it's an excellent opportunity to get a lot of suppliers at the same place. Uh, it's cost efficient, time efficient, of course. Uh, you get a lot of suppliers at the same place together, so you don't lose enough time uh, talking to them or representatives coming to your place. So it's a great way and it's a fun way. You can drink something, it's really nice. And you get to meet a lot of new people. So for me, it's excellent. And what kind of networking do you need? Is it packaging? Is it malt? Is it hops? Is it, is it the whole me, supply chain for you? For me, it's a bit of all. I, I, I'm a really small brewer, so I have to really get my source of where they are most cost efficient, of course, and where I can group things together. So here you get a new address, a new website, new suppliers to get everything together to group so you have less cost and you can deliver all in one shop. A one-stop shop would for me would be ideal. For now I didn't find that yet. Some are better in, in malt, some are better in hops, some are better in, in other uh, cleaning products. But now I hope to, to find here people or companies who can all group that together uh, at one place and that would be ideal for a lot of small brewers. So that's my, uh, that's my idea. How are costs affected you, uh, you know, given, you know, Russia, COVID, it's... For me, it's still rather okay. It's very small, so the prices are not that important to us. My beers are not the cheapest, so if I have to ask 10 cents more, people will pay it for my beers. For a bigger brew, it's, it's more difficult, I think. But for now, at malts, the cost of malt is not that more is important. More important is now transport costs. So if you have to send beer out, that's a real big expense now, uh, and people still need want to pay for that for that price. So if I send out beers, you already pay 10 to 12 euros to send out your beers. That's a big cost for me, and I notice people are ordering less or just grouping their beers before they sending them out. Of course, for IPAs, it's not ideal. The weather is not ideal, and the price is not ideal. So that's for me the biggest uh, problem now. Uh, of course, hops are getting more expensive, malts also, glass bottles more expensive. But the most kegs, key kegs, for now, the, the real, uh, everyone needs key kegs now, and they're made in a cream for parts of it. So that's a big problem now, a shortage of, of key kegs. So everyone is searching, contacting other brewers to get some key kegs to, to, to get survived the summer, because now it's festival season, so you need key kegs now. But uh, we hope it's getting better soon. I hope the war stops soon and we can go all uh, like we were before. So I think for craft brew, people, the right people, will don't, they just want craft beer and they, they know that it's more expensive and they were willing to pay it. So that's a big difference, I think, with the bigger breweries. That's an advantage for the, for the small breweries now. Even it's, yeah, it's not nice to pay more for everything, of course, but that's, I think, a strong point for the small breweries at the moment. So,